Hello guys, uh, I'm very sorry for a very late update, but as you all know, school are already started a few months ago, and uh, here I am. Uh, this is just a video, uh, Unity 3D video of a zombie uh, enemy download that you can download for free from Mediafire that I created. And uh, yeah, the model isn't mine, but the creator agrees that you can use it for commercial use and I agree also uh, so yeah this is just a quick download video and uh, uh, yeah I'll be free from school in uh, in a week in uh, so uh, I'll be able to make a few videos uh, then uh, when uh, the vacation starts in Slovenia so yeah uh, let just let me just get right into it and show you how to set up the enemy zombie enemy. So uh, the zombie enemy is uh, the same enemy I've been using in uh, FPS tutorials. Uh, the model is the same. The script is a bit different, but uh, same stuff. So uh, when you'll uh, create your project, Unity, this is probably what you'll get. Uh, we'll be creating a simple floor for our enemy. So go to game object, 3D object, and plane okay here it is here's our plane and uh, now you wanna drag in your first person controller if you don't have your first person controller uh, just go to under assets import package and characters so it will show up under prefabs and this is FPS controller so drag it drag him a bit up so he isn't in floor and he'll fall through uh, and now you wanna click on floor and you want to go to window navigation and uh, we'll set this floor under inspector to static and under navigation we'll bake we're going to bake and just bake it we won't mess with the settings as you can see the blue parts are the walkable area so here uh, enemy will be able to walk uh, and uh, to drag our enemy inside we'll have to uh, you have to click the download link under the description on my video, and uh, this is something that you will. This is uh, something that you'll get. It's zombie. It will be called zombie enemy. So double click on it, and it will open it up in Unity. And as you can see, it will ask you if you want to import it. So click import. Wait a few seconds, and here it is. Under assets, this is a zombie prefab folder. So this is what you'll get. Here are a few skins, materials for our zombie. Uh, here's the animator tree. If you go under animator, this is, as you can see, it floats between walking and attacking. This is all, this is very sim simple, very, very simple animator tree. Here is our zombie slow model, and here is our zombie enemy. I don't know why it's this material here, but I, yeah, probably just set it up here. Uh, make it good, that's just a zombie. Uh, Ragdoll, so if you want to use it, and here are two scripts that we'll be using. So if you drag your zombie enemy inside, no zombie, uh, zombie enemy, zombie enemy prefab, and you want to go under mesh and just uh, in the inspector choose one of two materials. I'll be choosing zombie light and just drag it in. So here is what you will get, uh, and it will look something like this if you don't have your animator. Uh, set up just drag zombie slow under the animator and that's it for the animations you have also you have the animations here under the zombie slow model um, here is a capture collider and here is another capture collider uh, for uh, zombie to detect whether player is inside and play the attack animation so that's the attack animation over here uh, it starts it just gets the component animator and when the uh, object with tag player enters the collider it will set the animator uh, to ki kill I think kill to true as you can see it will set it to true if it will exit the collider it will set it to false and under the enemy it just finds the nav mesh uh, the nav mesh on over here 
it finds this and uh, it finds uh, in if you, if uh, there is an object with duck player it will uh, it will get his position and then follow him it will get his it will be changing the position based on the current position of the player so uh, it and if it is if uh, its target is true that means that it finds the target it will say, get component animator and it will set float speed to 1 so as you can see float kill false and uh, it will set it to float to 1 so it will play the walking animation I'm just so messed up today so okay anyways as you can see and it, it you don't need to set up the target because it will find it by by the tag and uh, you don't have to set the uh, nav mesh because it will also find the nav mesh but under the first person controller we have to go to tag and tag it player so it finds the enemy now if I play the scene the enemy should and follow us and as you can see when uh, it enters, we enter the collider or he enters the collider uh, he, en uh, he enters with his collider it plays the this animation okay so yeah that is how the enemy looks like and hope you enjoyed if you uh, like the video just uh, rate it uh, comment for more and uh, subscribe and share of course if you want to. Bye.